Corn rootworm can raise havoc with yield by destroying corn roots in a dry year. University of Illinois entomologist Nick Sider says develop a management plan, including one primary way to control the population. Yeah, anywhere where you have corn after corn, you ought to be on the lookout for it. One thing we've seen over the last two years is we can pick up some problems in areas we wouldn't necessarily expect. Um, we've seen some court rootworm damage down in uh, Carmi, Illinois, and over in Chaffee, Missouri. That's pretty far south. If you don't know where that is listening to this show, it's because it's way down in the southern tip of Illinois. Uh, but if you grow enough corn after corn, even that far south, you can see both species of corn rootworm. Um, we've seen western corn rootworm down there. We've seen northern corn rootworm down there. We've picked up a few issues over by St. Louis in that dairy production area where they do have some continuous corn production. Um, so I would say anywhere where you have continuous corn, you're certainly not out of the woods. Uh, if you're an area where it's predominantly rotated corn and you're rotating your corn, you know, you should be vigilant, like you should keep your eyes out for those beetles. One thing you're going to see if you're looking for those beetles, you're going to see beetles uh, before you're going to see that larval damage. You're going to see that beetle population increase before you start to really pick that up in terms of larval damage to first year corn. So that's something you ought to be on the lookout for. It's not going to jump out and surprise you if you're looking for it. Though if you're not looking for it, it, it could. If we are looking for it and we see some beetle populations that we've never seen before, what's your recommendation for steps to take to control that? Um, well, the big thing you're going to want to look at, typically when we find that beetle population, so if you're in your continuous corn, if you get in there um, at the early end of that over position, you can control the beetles with an insecticide. The timing's pretty important. You don't want to go too early when they haven't, mated yet because they're going to continue re-entering that field. If you go too late, they've done a lot of their uh, egg laying already. So it can be difficult to make that kind of an application really work. The big thing to keep in mind if you start to see that heavy beetle population is that means you've got to protect your corn the following year. Um, that's really where our management is going to come into play. Um, and if you see a very heavy population, particularly if it's in a continuous corn field, Think about rotating that field out to soybean. Um, you know, in East Central Illinois, we don't have a lot of these, you know, 8, 10, 15 year corn fields. Um, but if you're in that situation and you get just a blowout population of corn rootworm, think about planting that field to something that those rootworm larvae cannot feed on. Because keep in mind, even if you have a rotation resistant, like variant Western corn rootworm, uh, if you plant that field to soybean, every egg that's laid in that field is going to hatch the next year and it's going to die the next year because it's not going to have anything to eat. Those resistant rootworms, they still can't feed on soybean roots um, or for that matter any other non-corn crop to any appreciable level. Uh, so rotation's your best friend if you get into that situation.